welcome back and thanks so much for joining me for today's video. As you may be able to guess, it is the evening, I'm wearing my comfies, I've got my cup of coffee. So today's video is going to be a really lovely, relaxed and chatty one. I was kind of debating whether to call this a fireside chat. I've got the fire going on down there beside me, um, or I don't know, just like a heart to heart, because I want to do this type of video a little bit more regularly, where we just have a nice little chat together, so that's what today's video is going to be, and the topic for today's chat is going to be all about self-care, how I take care of myself, and I feel that it's a really good time to be having this type of discussion, because I mean, in the blogosphere, obviously fashion week has just happened, so everyone is up to their neck in work and we're all a little bit stressed, a little bit busy, and I think that taking the time out for self-care is really, really important. Equally, I know in school and university it is coming up to exam period, so hopefully my um, chats will be useful for a lot of you guys watching. So I'm going to get straight stuck in there with one of the first things that I like to do to take care of myself and I like to call this a mindful reboot. So it's something that I like to do, not every day, but when I'm feeling a little bit anxious and a little bit stressed, and you can find anything that really relaxes you and chills you out for your mindful reboot, but for me, I have, as you may know from a few of my videos, been really getting into meditation this year. I do want to do a little bit more yoga as well, but at the moment I'm finding that just doing a little bit of meditation three or four times a week is really, really helping me out. So meditation is something that I used to think was a little bit airy-fairy, I didn't really get the point of it, uh, but now that I've tried it, I'm a full-on believer. So I found that meditation for me is a really good way of reducing stress, it keeps me mindful, so it helps to almost clear my mind. If you wake up and you've got millions of thoughts going around in your head, then meditation can just slow the pace of your mind, and I find that by clearing out the clutter going round and round in my head, it leaves me with a clearer brain and I can be a lot more productive in the day. So that's the first thing, but also there's been so many studies into meditation and despite this, still not everybody does it, not everyone that complains of stress, but it has been proven to reduce stress, depression, anxiety and even physical pain. So while I don't suffer hugely from any of those, I do suffer from stress, um, so for me that's been the main reason why I do meditation, maybe three or four times a week. The reason why I think a meditation is great in a mindful respect is that it allows you to almost take a step back and if you've got a clearer mind it helps you to react better to any situations that you're put in. So for example, if I get an email through or I see a comment that makes me a little bit angry or stressed. I can just take a step back and take a few deep breaths and even that, even that short amount is meditation to me and just doing that really helps to clear the mind and help you analyse the situation and see how to respond in the best possible way. Of course, for me, meditation is still fairly new so it's not fully a part of my daily routine yet, as I said, doing it a few times a week, but I'm hoping that when we go on our trip I'm going to be able to do it every single morning. India and the Maldives are both amazing places where hopefully I'll be able to wake up Sunrise meditation just sounds like a dream. So let me know if you'd like to maybe see a video on how I meditate, just like a really, obviously I'm not a pro, um, it would just be like how I meditate, maybe meditation for beginners, that kind of thing. Sorry, my phone's going off in the background, um, coming up to my next step. But yeah, let me know if you'd like to see how I do it, how I fit it into my schedule. Just let me know in the comments if that's the kind of thing you'd like to see from me. My next self-care tip may sound a little bit hypocritical, a little bit ironic, given what I do for work, which is obviously vlogging, YouTube, Instagramming, basically everything that involves me being glued to my phone at all times, but my next tip for self-care is a digital detox, and I know my mum and other people that know me might be rolling their eyes right now, uh, but actually I have been finding that by giving myself an hour-long digital detox, on most mornings, <laughs> not every morning, just as I wake up, not checking my phone straight away. If you watch my mindful morning routine, you'll know that I don't like checking my phone straight away because that just starts the brain chatter going off as soon as you wake up, potentially fills you with thoughts of comparison. If you're checking people's Instagram, seeing their perfectly edited life and comparing it to your own when you've probably got pizza down you from the night before. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's probably not the best idea to start with work emails and Instagram and that kind of thing. I personally don't like starting my day that way. So 
A digital detox can be anything from a day, I mean if you're going away somewhere or if you're really strong then you could maybe do a day, but even just an hour or half an hour in the morning, just as you get yourself ready, you don't need that destruction going on in the background. Plus there have been so many people looking in to the damaging effects of having Wi-Fi on around you, like your phone, the signals from your phone going off all night is really bad, I've started to put my phone on airplane mode, but I mean this is kind of like Daily Mail stuff, but it's been linked to brain cancer and, and radiation, all this badness, I don't know too much about it so don't quote me, but I mean there's got to be something not terribly good about having radiation waves from the Wi-Fi or from the signal of your phone going off constantly, so I think a digital detox is really really important. As I said I like to switch my phone on airplane mode, not only does this mean that Charlie and I sleep better during the night because there's no buzzing or vibrations going off through the night, but also if you can keep your bedroom as an entirely electronic free zone then that's going to be even better if you try not to look at any blue light so that's any kind of screens I think around an hour before bedtime then hopefully you should find yourself sleeping a lot better which in turn hopefully will lead to less stress less anxiety and generally just feeling a lot better about yourself so that's another small thing that I like to do the third thing that I like to do to take care of myself is swap in some natural alternatives so that can be in my diet uh, Charlie and I have been trying to go down to the farmers market at weekends get some more organic food we're basically trying to cut out as many toxins from our diet as possible so whether that means buying organically or just trying to make food from scratch a lot more, that's become something that we've been a lot more aware of in 2017. If you've been watching um, like my What I Eat In A Day videos or even just my Instagram stories, you'll see that we do like to prepare a lot of our food from scratch. And then secondly, when it comes to natural, you've probably seen on my blog a few more posts about natural and organic products. Now, as a beauty blogger, it's really hard for me to only use natural and organic, but I am very conscious of the amount of chemicals that I'm putting on my skin. So where possible, and especially body lotion, when you think about how big an expanse the body is and how much skin is on your body, if you're putting a body lotion on that's filled with chemicals, it's probably not the best thing to do. So I've been trying to switch in a lot more natural beauty products into my routine. Um, a few of my favourite brands include Jason Skincare, uh, their body lotion smells so good, and also their body wash, uh, and their hand cream actually. I've also been using Beauty Kitchen, their facial oils are absolutely absolutely gorgeous. Um, Weleda, I love so many of their things, their scrubs, body lotions, hand lotions, there really are so many amazing natural beauty brands at the moment um, and as I said I have been writing about them a little bit more on my blog recently but that's another way that I like to take care of myself, just trying to minimise the toxins going onto my skin in any way possible. Another area where I've been looking into more natural alternatives and bear with me with this one, it's birth control. So I know this isn't something that I normally talk about on the blog, but when I heard about natural cycles and I started to do a little bit of research into them, I thought it was a fantastic idea, an alternative to um, current birth control methods, and I really wanted to let you guys know about it. So Natural Cycles is an app and it is a natural form of birth control. The app has been officially approved as a method of contraception and there have been lots of medical studies which have proven it almost as effective as hormone treatments like the pill, the implant, etc. I'm sure you guys have heard about standard um, fertility and like period tracking apps in the past, but this one is really different in that it is officially proved to be a method of birth control. So sorry if there's any boys listening or watching, but it tracks your cycle so you know when you're at your most fertile and also when you're at your least fertile which helps you to either plan or prevent pregnancy depending on what you want to do. So how it works and what makes it so reliable is that Natural Cycles, uh, it is an app but you can also get a thermometer and it tracks your temperature. You take your temperature every single morning, input it into the app and your temperature is also a measure of your level of hormones. The algorithm that they've created once you input your temperature into the app has been proven so effective that Natural Cycles is actually the world's first app that is an officially proven method of contraception. So that is pretty impressive, am I right? 
So once again, something I never thought I'd be sharing on the internet, but personally, uh, when it comes to birth control, the pill is not for me. I tried it when I was in uni, um, and it just turned me into a moody cow. So for a long time, I've been looking for a more natural alternative, and with natural cycles, you literally are just taking your temperature, putting it into the app, and finding out whether you're fertile or not. So really, not messing with your body at all. So apparently, women are only fertile for six days in their cycle, and when I was researching it, because to be honest it did sound a little bit too good to be true, I found out that in tests of a thousand women, only five got pregnant with the app due to the algorithm falsely attributing a green day, whereas three in a thousand got pregnant with the pill, um, so yeah, very very comparable, obviously still not 100% foolproof, and it doesn't protect against STIs, but a whole lot more natural than putting hormones in your body. So yeah, this whole natural cycles uh, phenomenon really does blow my mind. I hope you guys can understand why I wanted to talk to you about it when they approached me. I think that this is gonna be a bit of a game changer, a natural birth control method, and I know that so many of us are unhappy with our current birth control options, and I honestly, hand on heart, think this is such an incredible innovation and definitely something that I'm going to be, and already am, relying on. Not only does it help with birth control, but also irregular cycles as well. You can literally track everything. So I'm going to leave all the information about the app um, down below in the description box. You can also like read about it on Stylist, The Independent, The Telegraph. Not just me that loves it, there are a lot of people writing about it at the moment. So I'll leave some literature as well as more information for you to check out. So yeah, that really is a game changer and for me, so nice that you can take control of this part of your life without having to mess with your hormones and just such a lovely natural alternative. So as well as natural food, natural beauty products, now this aspect of my lifestyle is natural as well. So yeah, I really hope you guys found that interesting and um, please do read up about it because I think for us girls, it's important that we do talk about this stuff and I really wanted to share it with you. And the final topic for my self-care, self-love, heart-to-heart video um, is another way that I help to reduce stress and that is a few tips on getting a good night's sleep. So for me, um, I feel that I'm a whole lot less stressed, a whole lot less anxious and just generally in a much better mood when I get a good night's sleep. Obviously the things I've mentioned previously in this video help me to get a better night's sleep as well, especially meditation. I find that that just also eases my mind. There are a few podcasts that I listen to and a few of them have uh, special sleep meditation parts on them. So if you do struggle to nod off, then perhaps a sleep guided meditation will be a good one for you. But other tips, I know these are maybe kind of obvious, but having a bath is actually one of the best things you can do without your phone, maybe take a magazine in or a book or just light some candles super cliche I know but it really works and there are so many brands that have got products that you can pop in the bath um, aromatherapy associates is a favorite Clarins of course Radox as well super affordable they all have relaxing scented bath products that will help you drift off a lot more easily Charlie and I also have a little um, This Works air diffuser and we pop a few drops of lavender or eucalyptus. We're even using alba soil at the moment because we don't want to get any bugs. Um, and that just really beautifully scents the room and helps you to feel a lot more relaxed so you get a better night's sleep. Another thing that I really like is luxurious pillowcases. So Charlie and I, um, we've invested in some silk pillowcases and not only is that better for your skin and your hair, but also there's just something really nice about sleeping on a luxury pillowcase what we like to do is spritz our pillows with some scented essential oils obviously the this works deep sleep pillow spray we absolutely love and then when you're traveling as well that smell almost acts as a reminder of home so it can help you feel a little bit more at ease and sleep a lot more easily so pillowcases and scenting them is another tip and then of course also linking back to what I said earlier in the video about a digital detox this is so important if you find it really hard to switch off at night, if you're one of these people that is tossing and turning until like two o'clock in the morning, then definitely try a digital detox an hour before you go to bed, not even just checking if your mum has texted you back. Um, yeah, just have a switch off and just try these tips for a few nights and see if they make any difference for you because they definitely work for myself, they work for Charlie and a few other friends that have taken on this advice as well. So guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video it felt really nice just having a bit of a chat with you guys sharing some thoughts on some changes that I've been making in my life recently and uh, definitely do check out Natural Cycles I know it's totally 
out of the blue me talking about birth control with you but honestly when I read about it when I started trying it I just thought it was such a genuinely good idea I mean we're all girls here mostly that um, why should it why should it be a topic that we don't talk about because I think it's really really important and a great innovation so yeah I really really hope you like this video let me know if you have any self-care tips please do leave them in the comments below and then we can all share our tips I'd love to read them and everyone else can read your tips as well so definitely let's have a little chat in the comments section down below so yeah that is all from me really really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one bye